What's up queens? I'm going to teach you how to use cute filters like this to enhance your streams without using Snapcam. Now that Snapcam has been discontinued, it's been really hard to find quality filters to use. And I know I said in my last video that I wasn't going to do another tutorial, but all of the comments that I got on my beauty filter tutorial were so kind. I, I really made that video just to kind of like a gift to my friends so that they could see how to add the beauty filter for themselves if they wanted it. But I, you know, made it like a public video, obviously so that anybody that wanted to see it or use it could. And it got a lot more views than I thought it was gonna get. My YouTube shorts comment sections are vile. They're typically vile. <laughs> and so I was so surprised that I got like all these really, really kind, supportive comments. I don't know, I was, it was so great and truly inspiring. And a lot of people were asking if I knew of any additional filters. And so I did a little bit of research and I came across this one. And I felt like this was the closest one to snap cam that I found available and I, I don't know I just Dixper has been around for a while so I feel like they are going to do it right does that make sense so anyway I went to dixper.gg slash vision if you go to dixper.gg there's like two programs so there's regular Dixper Dixper just as a whole in a nutshell I don't know if I'm gonna be able to explain this in an articulate way because I'm really just doing this entire video off the cuff I did not script it or plan it or anything <laughs> But anyway, so Dixper is essentially this great program that allows viewers to interact with streamers. So for example, way back in the day I had used it when I would play Dead by Daylight and people could do things like flip your cam, they could make your controls go in reverse, they could make you start walking, different stupid things to mess you up in your game, and they could do like jump scares. It like affects your actual game while you're playing. It's really, really cool. Highly recommend if you're looking for new ways to kind of interact with your audience. And then Dixper came out with this a new thing recently called Dixper Vision, which is kind of like a competitor to Snapcam. Obviously Snapcam doesn't exist anymore, so it's not really competing, but basically it's just kind of an alternative to allow you to add little filters but where it works well with Dixper is it allows people to use these effects or redeem these effects to use on you while you're streaming as well um, I am not going to get into all of that but essentially I'm just gonna go into how to use this as your general virtual cam that you are using on oh yes so you'll go to dixper.gg slash vision you're gonna come here click download now for windows it is also supposedly going to become available for mac so you know stay tuned it's just in a beta right now there's not a ton of options already so it's like barely complete for windows so you're gonna have to bear with me and bear with them as they you know build this product out but anyway so let's pull it back up so i've downloaded it Really simple, then you just open it, search Dixper on your computer, it'll pull it right up. It will ask you to sign in with your Twitch or YouTube account. Um, I've signed in with my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash Kyle. And then, yeah, so here we have the octopus filter already on. I'm going to turn it off. You can turn it on and off a couple of different ways. You can just click it and unclick it. Um, the fun thing about Dixper Vision is that you're actually able to layer these filters. So I can do Beautify. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, and I can do the kitty at the same time. I think, I actually think that Beautify and kitty are one in the same. Uh, it's a little bit different. But yeah, so you can layer them together. You can go crazy and like layer all of them. What? What is that? Where did the... Uh... Oh my god, I did too many. Well, okay, if you do too many, you can also just press clear active filters. It is like not obvious enough to me. Oh, okay, look at it. Okay, the word is bold. You see how it says chef is bold? That's how you know like which ones you have on. Oh my god! Okay, 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 we're good. Okay, we're gonna put on Kitty, and then see, yeah, so not only do you have active, like, these type of filters, you have, like, video effects. So you can go to this and click effects, and then we'll just do one of them. There's just, there's so many, there's way more effects than there are filters, um, so I'm not going to go through all of the effects, but look at, this is Black Hole. 
The cool thing about the effects is that you're able to adjust like their intensity. So if you click this gear symbol right here. Oh, what is that? Visualize? Don't visualize. Okay, I don't I don't know what visualize means. But anyway, so there's fixed distance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Couple different things. What? I don't even know. Okay. We're gonna do a different one because that one still in beta apparently. So we'll click matrix. So we're gonna exit that one. We're gonna delete the black hole and we're going to adjust the matrix settings. So settings here, fixed distance, matrix size. Okay, so you're gonna have to mess with those settings. I don't know what they all mean. I just clicked this one for the first time ever right now. But anyway, so you have matrix size. It's kind of cool. We stand. All right. Uh, fade. You can do like a little bit, a lot of it. Speed. Oh, it was going backwards. So center is like still. There we go. Okay, cool. Anyway, so you get what I'm getting at. Um, let's see. Um, exit. I'm going to remove it because I, I did hate that every second of it. Um, and then, yeah, so you go to filters, whatever, choose whatever you want. So now I'm going to show you how to add this to OBS. It's really simple. If you've uh, used Snapcam before, you probably already know how to do something like that. But if you've not, very, very easy. So here we go, pulling up OBS. So what I'm going to do is click this plus sign in my sources section. And then I'm going to click add video capture device. So I think I had gotten rid of it. So hopefully it doesn't say Dixper already exists but I'm choosing to create a new one. I'm naming it Dixper so that I know what it is. And then there I'm under device. I'm choosing my camera. So I'm choosing Dixper camera. And then we're gonna press okay. I'm gonna do all the things that I would normally do. So normally I will flip my cam so that it is fixed. I like it to, to look like I'm facing the game when I'm streaming. So I like to have my cam flipped. Um, Interestingly, this hat is actually printed in reverse so that it is facing the correct direction while I'm streaming. <laughs> but anyway, you can see my little toys behind me. They're my fave. I'm like a bit, I'm really big into art toys. Um, and I like giant Funkos. I don't like the tiny Funkos. I like the giant ones. So anyway, I'm going to crop this and then I'm also going to filter it with a, a green screen. So effect filters, plus sign, chroma key, and then I'm just not, I'm not gonna mess with the settings. I'm gonna leave it where it is because it's basically pretty good. But as you can see, here we go. We would just set it right back here and then put it in its regular spot. And obviously I have it right there. So I'll just put them next to each other and then we'll open up Dick's Provision again. And then I'll move it off to the side so you can kind of see a little bit, but then we can go and uncheck Kitty. Oh my God, my head, it's so large. Anyway, and then click Beautify. There we go. Dragon Ball. I'm like the sexiest ass Goku I've ever seen. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so really simple. So then you just stream, you just use that as your virtual cam and that's how this works. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. If you really want to support this channel, there's a million ways to do it. Like I said, you can go and buy my hat at bbkyle.com um, or you can do the easiest way to support my channel, which is press that like button and click subscribe very helpful to me. Also, I do try to respond to every single comment that I get into my uh, comment section. Um, I'm definitely not too big yet to uh, be able to do that. So I'm very privileged to be able to do so. So if you uh, have a question, uh, just want to make a comment, say hello, please do. I very much so appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you want to hang out with me some more while I'm live, twitch.tv slash bbkyle. And lastly, hail Satan.